Now this is a story all about how a new school came into our town. They had nurse, they had jocks, and everything in between to top it all off a good football team. Yeah, uptown Jacksonville, 7 a.m. Kids keep going through the door before the class could begin. It's in the clock, everybody had to know cool. When some dudes were shooting videos outside of the school. There was a couple of guys and they was acting all crazy. Accidentally bumped into another lady. They was about to get in trouble like you couldn't believe. She said, You, you need, need to knock it off because you're making a scene. Well, nah, uh, because I got a show that's on a roll. And since I got a pass, I do whatever I want. She said, I don't believe you. You need to do what I say. I got my own teacher. You can check me out Friday. I was walking down the hall and I was hungry already So I said, what's for lunch? Yeah. Smile on my face, cause it's as good as can be And I was proud to say, it feels good, good to be the king Good morning, Monarchs! I'm Jay Lesson. I'm Devontae Morgan. Today is Friday, December 11, 2009 Attention seniors! If you have never been to the Career Expo at Coastal Carolina Community College and you're interested in going, come get an application from Mrs. McIntyre today only and return it by Monday, December 14th. Then the softball meeting Thursday, December 17th at 2.30 in room 209. Next week will be our last broadcast for the semester. It might be a few minutes longer since we've been planning some holiday festivities for you. National Technical Honor Society induction ceremony will take place Monday, December 14th at 6 p.m. in the cafeteria. Inductees need to be there by 5.45. Dress nicely. No jeans. Any other members that would like to help, please see Ms. Wilsey as soon as possible. LCCLA will meet on Wednesday, December 16th at 2.30 to discuss Christmas plans. Asher, and she's in 11th grade. Uh, she has gone beyond the call of duty in volunteer services than that was required. What a great character trait to have. Okay, Monarchs, it is a season of giving. We have lots of students right here in the Monarch family that need a little extra help at Christmas. If you want to help in any way at all, a Walmart gift card of any donation would be the most helpful. If you are at Walmart and can manage an extra gift to help your fellow Monarchs, even a small $10 card will help. Please turn in gift cards to Miss Bobby in the front office. school workouts will start January 4th at 3 to 4.30 on the baseball field if weather permits it. Anyone interested in playing this spring is encouraged to attend. If you want to go to Greece or Spain, not next summer, but summer of 2011, please see Mrs. Gant from Trip Info to vote on which trip you want and find out how to save $200. See her today in room 901 for information. In order to get a good EOC score, you need to do two main things. You need to get a lot of good food and you need to get a good rest before the test. Good luck. My EOC tip for the EOCs is not to cram. For the EOC. To get a good EOC test score, have a positive attitude. Think, think you're going to pass and you will pass. A great EOC test strategy to use is to highlight keywords. Don't be afraid to write in the book. Take your time. Highlight and read the questions carefully. My EOC tip is to do all the easy questions first and go back and walk through the hard ones. Okay, for your EOCs, especially U.S. history, study your vocabulary, make flashcards, and review, review, review. 
please also remember that now is the time to start studying. You can't cram a whole semester's worth of information into your brain in one night. So please make sure that you start studying now for your EOCs. And remember that we're here to support you. We hope that you do exceptionally well. And we also want you to know that we want you to succeed in everything that you do, especially on your EOCs. I'm going to Pennsylvania to see my dad's family. That's what I'm doing. We're going to New York for Christmas. Woo! Woo! For Christmas, I'm just staying in Jacksonville to spend time with my dad because he came back from overseas. I'm going to Richmond, Virginia. And we are going to hang out in Jacksonville also with spend some time with our family. I'm going to visit my family in Wisconsin. I'm going to Italy for Christmas. I get to go to California and visit my uncle in like San Diego and all the rest of my Mexican family. Lucky, he's going to a warm place. He's going to Pennsylvania. Oh, he goes to I'm here right now and I'm about to talk to you about the senior project a little bit. Um, in case you're wondering, if you plan to graduate early, then your final research paper is due on Monday, December 14th, along with the people who are graduating in June. If you have English this semester, your final research paper is also due on Monday, December 14th. If you're an early graduate, your physical project and your portfolio is due on Monday, January 4th, and that's only for the early graduates. If you have English first semester, then your physical project is due on Monday, May 10th, and your portfolio is due on Monday, May 17th. Your presentations are due on Monday, January 11th, if you are an early graduate. And if you have English first semester, then your portfolio and your presentation is on Monday, May 17th, and Monday, May 24th, and also Tuesday, the 25th. For all the people who have English next semester, then your final research paper is due on Monday, March 29th. Your physical project is due on Monday, May 10th. And your portfolio and presentation is Monday, May 17th and Monday, May 24th, along with Tuesday. Thank you. The Athens students read books to a group of Thompson's preschoolers Tuesday and another group yesterday. One of our Athens students' community projects is to help the preschoolers learn to enjoy reading. Our students did a great job. The teacher from Thompson wanted to take our students back to Thompson with them. Several teachers commented on the students and the climate of the school. That's a reflection of what we do. Let's keep up the good work. Congratulations to Abbott students. <laughs> Abbott's team here at uh, Northside High School and part of their projects is they do when they are reading to their uh, little preschoolers to help them to enjoy reading, to start enjoying reading. This is the third year that we've done this with the preschoolers. The preschoolers enjoy it. We love it too. Um, do we plan on doing this next year? Absolutely. <laughs> on the way, she met a pig. What's your buddy's name? My name is Kylie. I just I love reading. Are you having fun? Do you like reading? Do you like coming to the high school so we can read to you? Yeah. He had on his scarf. He had on his. Do you like reading? Yeah. Do you like Do you like coming here? Do you have us read to you?
Archie's is here at West Craven High School for our annual fall field meet. We're here to show you an inside look on how everything goes here. Let's take a look. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my class could only see Twelve copycatters! Eleven pencils tapping Ten kids are working! Nine noisy freshmen! Eight hip-hop pencils! Seven won't stop talking! Six pushing offers! Five fell asleep! Four running wild! Three throwing tickets! Two gaming late! And a teacher who loves us, you and me! And that was the News Monarchs. Tune in next week for Channel 22 News. The Lions.